coming out, which I think is a look at geology in the Valerian region. But first, we're joined by three of the cast of magical drama Merlin. I'll pose you this question. If you were in charge of booking the guests here at T4, would you choose a scrawny wizard or three buff knights? Here to answer that question. And many more are Rupert Young, Tom Hopper and Owen Mackin, everyone. Thank you so much, Tom. Owen, welcome to T4. How are you all? Very good. Thank you. Good. You're very welcome. You guys would book you, right? You're the more bookable people from Merlin. Well, I think so, yeah. yeah. First choice, yeah. yeah. We've been pushing it for a while. It's been yeah. tricky for us because we had to reinforce the sofa. <laughs> because obviously muscle uh, weighs much more than fat. We were slightly concerned it could cave in with all of your hunkiness. Uh, for any newcomers to Merlin, can you tell us a little bit about your characters? I play for Leo. Uh, <laughs> Next. I'm sorry, yeah. yeah. Uh, who is a knight I've been in the Camelot for a, uh, a lot longer than these guys. I think it's the maturity. And uh, yeah, so I'm kind of Arthur's right hand man yeah. in a way, and uh, I'm always there for him. Lovely, yeah. Tom. Yeah. Uh, I play Sir Percival. Uh, I came at the end of series three. Uh, I guess I've come in and uh, for some reason they've taken my sleeves away in the show. Right. Which I saw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, uh, you, you requested that. What you did I request that? I don't know. I sent your contract. Well, you request to take your top off in every season. Yeah, of course I did. Yeah. <laughs> hey. uh, and I'm going to go eat. I don't know what my character is, to be perfectly honest with you. Fine, good. Yeah, I play a character called Gwen. I don't think he knows what he is. He just kind of is there as well, kind of floats around. <laughs> I've been fun, take it off. Are you still trying to all that? Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out why and there, what he does, but you know what? He takes his shirt off. Takes yeah, his shirt off. That's essentially yeah. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we Mumbles. Uh, well, let's take a look at the new series. This is Merlin. It starts on the 1st of October. <laughs> Do you ever sit there and watch your post-watershed rival Camelot and think, we'd like to be more like that because then we get to see some boobs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you see Rupert's boobs. Yeah. It's been a bit sexist because kind of, you're kind of inferring you just want female boobs. Well, no, I want to of, of all uh, creatures, um, man, woman, <laughs> all the orders of a cow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, aside from the taking your shot off stuff, you must get to do loads of sword fighting and falling off horses and battle scenes. Is that fun? It is amazing. I mean, literally, you're sitting on a horse, you're holding a sword, you're wearing chainmail, you've got a cape. My ten-year-old self would be, it's like, if I look very similar to you. Uh, <laughs> 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 My ten-year-old self, the one. It's weird, is it? <laughs> I'd be very proud of, uh, you know, I keep remembering that. he would be very happy that I'm living my dream. Well, I'm glad you said that because I was hoping to do some sword fighting training myself with you guys here today. Now, sadly, health and safety won't allow us to have actual swords, so we're having to use baguettes instead. Thank you very much, George. You can be our damsel in distress. Now, this is a genuine fighting method that used to take place in rural France. So, Tom, do you want to give this a go? Sure. Grab uh, your weapon there. I'll grab mine. Um,